about a month after I announced I was going to do something like this. Uh, here we go, a live team build. Uh, I've kind of been playing over how I want this to go in my head, and uh, I pretty much i am just going to talk to myself and uh, explain what I'm thinking uh, just while I build a team. Um, I did a team reveal for the Xerxathon tournament about a year ago, and um, I really liked doing that. Um, I did a team reveal kind of thing for uh, my winter series, which it's now that's over, kind of, so... Um, you know, I've never seen someone do a live team build before. I think it might be interesting, and uh, I'm going to try and do my best at it. So, uh, about a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, I want to play 5th Gen UU. Uh, you know, I've kind of wanted to jump into it a little bit, so I decided to get two birds stoned at once and just do it when I do the live team build. So, um, I didn't want to go in completely blind, though, so a couple of weeks ago I uh, spent a few hours built a crappy little team in a couple minutes, and uh, I actually wound up accidentally doing pretty well with it. I think I was floating around 1800 for a little bit, but when you get that high on the ladder, it's like you win two games and you earn four points, then you win a third game and you get three points, and then you lose a game because you get critted twice in a row, and then you drop 25 points, so it's just like, wow, this is really frustrating, and I didn't really want to deal with that, so... I do have my random number generator open. I'm going to randomly generate uh, a number. I counted 118 pokes between uh, UU, BL2, and RU, and those are kind of the range. I thought about doing a completely random thing, but then, and, and you know, just skipping any Ubers or OU that I get, but uh, you know, I don't want to get something entirely terrible and. Um, you know, I just want to build, I want to have a solid foundation to build a team around, so I'm about to click the button. Oh, I'm about to do it. And 33, so the 33rd poke, uh, I think that should still be in UU, so that's, I guess, okay, but, uh, you know, we'll see. So, about one, two, three, four, I'll skip to the end of this, and then I'll let you know. All right, 33 wound up being Nidoqueen, um, alphabetical order, not, you know, not anything too bad, so, um, I would have preferred Nido King, um, very much so, in fact, because, uh, Nido King was actually one of the very few pokes that gave my other team problems, so, um, you know, well, Nido Queen can work as well, it's just not quite as good, and, uh, now I have the task of deciding if I want an offensive one or a defensive one. So, um, it's actually just, com <sighs> Smogan's down, um, conveniently, so uh, I can't actually go compare. Uh, I guess I could use Bulbapedia. I'll open that up real quick, it's just for King. See what its stats are like. So I actually don't know. I know Sheer Force with Life Orb is just, like, retarded good. Um, just because it's it's pretty quick, and uh, it's got uh, pretty decent stabs, actually. So 92 and 85 compared to Nido Queen. Close that. 82 and 75. So I feel like um, an offensive set could be really good, actually. Because it gets sheer force as well, if I if I do remember, yes. Is it released though? Yeah, I think. So, um, like offensive Neo Queen could trick some people out. Like I could throw stealth rocks and like three attacks with life orb. Uh, I could do that, or I could like just do stealth rocks, taunt, T spikes, defensive stuff. Um, you know, I feel like Nidoqueen would kind of be better served, like, being the glue to my team, so, um, yeah, that'll be cool. And, um, uh, you know, let's random number generate one more guy, um, uh, just because it's easier to build a team around two things, I think, than it is one thing, so. Another number, please. 32. <laughs> Shit. Okay, not gonna happen. I know that's Nidoking, so, uh, that's pretty funny. And, um, 
It's going to generate again. Three. All right. Uh, you saw it. It's random. It doesn't it doesn't look very random? But uh, number three, two, three, Arcanine. Okay. Uh, not the two guys that I would have picked myself, but um, you know, that's what I picked. Or that's what I got picked, and uh, that's what I'm going to have to go with. So. Um, I think people were talking about, like, uh, Entei being really good in Enu, so maybe Arcanine will be really good in you. but if, uh, then again, if you're using an Arcanine, like, you may as well be using a Victini, but, uh, you know, Arcanine does get some benefits, like it gets close combat over stuff, and extreme speed, like, I don't think Victini gets that, so, um... I feel like just being boring and going with a bandit set is a good start. And then... Bulky Physical Sweeper, really? Fuck that. I'm going speedy. And, um... What's its base speed? 95. Who else is 95 in UU? Um... See, I don't... I See, I wish I had the tier list. But Smogan is conveniently down. So... Uh, it's going to be pretty tricky to try and figure out stuff, because I have to look at these little numbers rather than Smogan's nice big numbers, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, Amp Bomb, I'm not really too worried. Arcanine, of course, has 95 speed. Um, I think Chandelure is in the same speed tier, so it might even be worth like running Earthquake. If he gets Earthquake, that is. I'm not even sure. I haven't. E I don't think I've used an Arcanine since, like, 2010. Darmanitan, that could be nice to outspeed. But those are probably mostly going to be Scarfed. And if I'm going to run a CB set... Or maybe, even I sh maybe I should even run Howl. Um, I might think about that later on, but, uh, you know, we're still in the early stages here. Heracross, those things are scarfed, mostly, so, but uh, I might have to run Jolly just to outspeed those things, uh, if they're not scarfed. I, like I've, I, I have seen a few Swords Dancers, and uh, they get pretty intense, man. Crocodile, I used a Crocodile with Aerial Ace <laughs> on my other team, just simply for defeating Heracrosses, and uh, it worked really well. Uh, Meloetta, I think I saw two of those, no thank you. Nido King again, like those, like I'm gonna have to run Jolly just to outspeed those guys, and it might even be worth running Ground if does Arcanine get Ground? Let's check. Um, like if it gets if it gets Earthquake, I'm gonna use it. Usable moves. I guess it doesn't. So, um, yeah, it gets close combat, so you know that's kind of what I was thinking. Maybe I should run Overheat, because Gligar is a thing. Huh. What's my special attack like? Special attack's 100, so it's not that bad. Maybe, maybe even a Specs Arcanine would be good. Because the only real... You know? Arcanine wouldn't be a bad, like, Infernape ca like thing. Um, maybe I should run a mixy set and try and use it like a Blaziken, just with like Intimidate and stuff. Or what are other abilities does he get? Flash Fire. Is Justified released? See, that's the thing, I hate Dream World because I don't know what's released and what's not. And I have no easy way of checking right now, so... Uh, Intimidate is really good, though. So... Uh, like, Intimidate's good, but only if the other guy doesn't have rocks up yet, so... In that case, it might be worth it to run Taunt on Nidoqueen. See, if I'm, I'm only two guys in, and I'm already, I'm already trying to figure out Synergy here, so... Um, anyway, moving on, I've got two ground weeks. So I'm gonna want a Flying type, or a Levitator, or something. And a Spinner, so Claydol might be a really good idea. Um... Yeah, I kind of like Lightall. I can use it as my third guy, if I can figure out how... Come on. How do I add a, add a dude? Come on. 
There we go. Added. Okay, so I'm definitely going to want it rapid spin on this dude. And um, yeah, that's a good start. Uh, I think that's my. See, now I've got three water beaks, though. That's the thing. So I could run like a water absorber, and that'd be cool. Uh, I think the best water absorber out there would be like Vaporeon or Swakoon. But uh, Swakoon isn't released yet, I don't believe. So I could do like Lantern. Lantern would be kind of neat. With like Charge Beam and stuff. Let's just see what that would be like. Sure. Where's Lantern? Oh, um, is it really not even UU? Wow, it's so good. Um, but then again, that's another ground weakness. You know, we're just uh, we're just kicking tires here, so let's uh, give it a go. Volt absorb? No. Is water absorb released? God damn it! Um, I'm assuming Showdown will tell me if it's not. I think it's released. I think I've seen it before. So uh, that's what we'll go with. Wow, its special attack is only base 76. I thought it was way better than that. Whatever. Um, yeah, so far I've got a very bulky team. Um, even Arcanine is pretty decently bulky. Nidoqueen, not so much, but uh, like it's got good typing, so... Um, that's another ground week. I don't really like that. I don't like... I really don't like that at all, so... I might switch it out for like a Quagsire because I had a Quagsire with Water Absorb and Haze on my other team and it just shit on Swacoons. Like they could rest, but Haze isn't affected by pressure, so I can just sit there while they waste all their sleep talks and their rests and just use Haze every turn, and that's pretty sweet. So, uh. And that went really well. And, um. Hmm. I need offensive dudes. Um. I've already got a fire type guy. I also had an Agility, Sepatia, and Polyon on my other team. Didn't really work out as well as I'd hoped, but, uh, you know, it's it when it sweeps, it sweeps, right? I also kind of need a Scarfer. I need something that's fast. Like, Arcanine, CB, Extreme Speed can be kind of cool, but, uh, you know, it's not exactly great. Um, I've also got a lot of... Phys <sighs> See, I want to run PZ, because PZ is really good. But... And I do have good fighting resistances, so, like, I can take mock punches from stuff that want to run it. Um, see, I'm just not liking the RNG picking me Arcanine and Nidoqueen. Those aren't really the greatest things, but... You know, I guess I'm going to have to make it work, right? So... Let's see, what's in what's in RU that's that's good? Amoongus, that's really good, but I've already got a poison type. Um Electivire. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um is a little bit too weak for my taste. Lantern, I already got uh Quagsire. Quagsire should not be RU, it's way better than uh it's rated. So things I noticed, like trends that I noticed when um, even I, I played just for my short period of time, like a couple of hours last, like two weeks ago, uh, I noticed that Swakoon, if you let it set up, it rapes. So you need something good with a phase or a haze or something. Um, Heracross is really good, so you need something that can take on Heracrosses. And right now I, I don't. So, like... <laughs> Simple answer is I don't. Like, something would have to die, and then I'd have to go into Arcanine. So, um... I might want just, like, a Gligar over Claydol. Because it can recover and Claydol can't. Um, still has the same water and ice weakness, but, uh... I'm gonna have to... Maybe find a different spinner than Claydol. And, uh, or maybe just not run a spinner at all, and just run a speedy Nidoqueen with Taunt. And uh, hope that rocks don't go up. Arcanine is just... Ugh. So let's try... See, I don't really want to use a Gligar because I used one on my last team. But uh, with a Violite, it's just... 
it's just too good of a hair curl, and anything physical just can't break through it. So it's just I'm gonna have to go with it. Evaluate at least for now until I think of something else. Immunity definitely. Um, I don't know. Earthquake. What other moves does it get? Roost, of course. Um, U-turn, I like. Toxic. Sure, we'll just start. We'll start with this. I, I have to start building some guys before I can. Uh, where's the plus? Where's the plus? Well, do that. Give it extra defense, and we will look for the. Plus two. Where is it? There it is. So three, yeah, it's 216, that makes sense. Multiple of whatever. So, see, I wish, I wish it wouldn't let you over add EVs, but, you know, I guess you're gonna have to deal with it, right? 40 speed EVs, um, that's probably too much. Just because e base 85s will either run max or none at all. So I'll f give it 12 so it'll outspeed other guys who are trying to outspeed other guys who are trying to outspeed other guys. So uh, it's only three points, but that makes all the difference. Speed is the only stat where one point makes all the difference every single time. And then I guess. Mm, Either special offense or physical attack. Um, let's just split them up, I guess. Just because I know I don't, I don't know what else to do. So there's my Glagar for now. I don't like doing 252, 252, 4 because of reasons. So um, I guess Glagar is gonna be my first one. I might I think I I think I'm gonna go with an offensively based Needle Queen. So I might swap Toxic for Stealth Rocks on Glagar. I might not. I don't know yet. But I think I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna go for the shock factor with Needle Queen. So for Earth Power. Uh what has Ice Beam definitely for hitting Glagars. Wait, should I go physical or special or mixed? Fuck. Let's pick moves and then we'll decide. I want to go Sludge Wave just because it's Stab, but um, T Bolt could be cool too. I'm trying to pick moves that uh, Sheer Force will affect. And um, I guess I could go Stealth Rock or I could go something physical. Uh, like, what's going to stop me? That's the thing. I can't easily see the entire tier. So, what's going to stop me? Anything faster, <laughs> I guess, but, uh, you know, what can you do, right? Um, Cofagrigus, that's gonna be, well, not really. Um, maybe even Taunt. But then again, like, people who lead with Frost Lasses are just gonna lull at me because they're gonna taunt me first, and then I'm kinda screwed as I, they set up spikes. You know, offensive Nina Queen isn't really good against anything, but neither is the defensive one, so. Um, see, I don't want to build a wall team just because. Like, that's kind of lame and stuff. I want to build, be more offensive. Togicus, I need something to deal with Togicus, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, those things are annoying. Maybe that's what I could build Lantern to do. Because they can't air slash me, or they can, and they can flinch me to death, but I don't feel like they get there. See, when I build a team, I'm just kind of all over the place, I apologize. Um, but yeah, this could be a cool, yeah, this could be a cool combo, Glagger and Lantern. Uh, they cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. He's weak to water and ice, he resists water and ice, he's weak to ground, he's immune to ground, so... Yeah, I mean... He's also weak to grass, but then I've got Arcanine with Intimidate and stuff, and I can throw in another like Steel type or something. So 
Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad. So I'll give this guy leftovers. Ah, just type it in, you idiot. There we go. Like I said, water absorb. So, uh, do I want that or... See, he, the thing is he resists water. And, like, there's still rotom forms, so volt switches. Kind of cool to just be immune to. So I think I'm going to go volt absorb, just because. Because of those reasons. Not just because. And, um... Moves. Um, see, I don't want to run Volt Switch because I'm not a, I'm not gay, and um, if I'm going to be running Ice on Nido Queen, is Nido Queen going to be faster or slower than Glagger's? Glagger's are going to be defensive, so none of them are going to be faster than mine. So 209, I'll just jack her speed up to 210, at least for starters. Um, I'm gonna have to run probably modest actually. If not modest, then I'll drop the fence. I'll just I'll just see if I'm gonna put anything physical in here. So speed, special attack, and bulk. Like that should hit pretty hard. I mean, I guess I'm 82 EVs over the limit, aren't I? Just because it accidentally let me. And um, there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Ugh. I'm going to have to drop this one point just... No, cause, no, okay. One point just because I think... Is 364 Lefty's number? Where's my calculator? 364 divided by 16. No, it's not. 368 is a Lefty's number. And it doesn't even get Lefty's. It's just a bloody... It's a thing. It's a thing of mine. What do you call it? It's, it's I'm just OCD about lefties numbers. Ever since like I figured out about them, the neighbor dog is going off. Ah, one last move. One last move. Fire blast. Sure. Bulky special sweeper. C two fifty two two fifty two four. <laughs> no. Gotta mix it up a little bit, guys. Um. Yeah. So. Lantern might be 252, a little bit, okay. So I want max HP, I got lefties, I got volt absorb. Let's decide on moves. I can go discharge over T-Volt, just to throw some status out there. Because right now I have no status. But I might be running like a Roserade. I'm already thinking ahead, I'm thinking I might want a Roserade, then I can have like a, a neat fire water grass core. And um, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, that wouldn't be bad, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now before I forget about that. Alright, Roserade. Item. Do I want a bulky one? Offensive, offensive, defensive, mix. Let's go defensive. He's physical, she'll be special. Lantern will just kind of be there for Togekiss and stuff. And, um, that could be cool. I still need, like, some kind of way to deal with spacoons. And I'm gonna, well, Arcanine can take out Registeels, kind of. I might, I might even want to run, like, a substituting set with Lefties or Morning Sun. It's like, sub, Morning Sun, Fire, Fighting. The thing is, I just don't want to get T-waved by bloody... Registeels, but I've also got this guy with the Volt Absorb, and I've also got a Ground type, so there's really no excuse. I've got two Poison types as it stands, so I'm not really worried about Poison. And you, they can only sleep one guy. I've got a Fire type, so I'm not really worried about Burn. And I've got Natural Cure, so like... I guess I'm not really worried about status. That kind of accidentally happened. And uh, let's go Leftovers this guy's going to be bulky. I could go poison point. If this thing gets technician? Jesus. Okay. Did not know that. Um, it's probably not even released. But, uh, yeah, definitely sleep powder. 
Um, definitely, uh, I want to say definitely Giga Drain, but then, like, Leaf Storm. Because you're probably only, if you're a bulky Rosary, you're probably only going to get one hit off, but at the same time, you also want to recover damage. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, there's so many... God, this... Oh, God, God, God. Okay. Let's just see. Um... Yeah, Rosary. Who would run a physical Roserade? Seriously. I mean, I guess it's cool. Aromatherapy, like I said, it's not really too useful because I don't really care about status. Not too much, anyway. Not. Not really. I also don't really care about Stealth Rock at the moment. I only have one weakness to it, so I don't really need a spinner. It would be nice. I also still need rocks, though. That's the thing. I, so I'm going to be throwing out Paralyzes and Sleep. I don't really need Toxic, plus anything I would want to Toxic would be like stuff that beats Gligar anyway, so let's just run. Let's run Stealth Rock instead. And the only reason I have U-Turn on here is because I had U-Turn on my last one, and uh, it's really good when you run into like a Scarfed Terror Cross, even if they stone edge you, it does like 20% and then they have to switch. Unless they get like a crit and you take rocks and then they get another crit. So, um, yeah, so uh, right now I think I'm gonna want, yeah, you know, because then, you know, I just gotta free switch into whatever I want. And, you know, if they don't switch and they keep going for stone edges, I can U-turn and um, you know, if they switch moves, they're not scarfed, Arcanine is faster, I win and uh, it just makes sense on that guy but it wouldn't make sense on Lantern because I don't want to keep it in should I run Discharge or Charge Beam? I feel like a Charge Beam set would be better so I've never actually, like, really used a charge beam anything, so I'll be interested to see how this goes. Um, then I'm going to want to go max power, hydro pump, ice beam, HP grass. I need something to hit other water types. Um, charge beam? Yeah, right. Um... What other moves? Um, it should be grass to start, I guess. And then I'll see what kind of coverage I need. Agility, really? Amnesia? Amnesia might be a good idea. Charge Beam and Amnesia. Anything special just has no chance against you. Hmm. Um, I could really get I could get rid of ice beam for it because grass and water is pretty good coverage. Uh, there's not a real, there's not really a lot of things that resist both. Like I don't know, I'm trying to th I'm I'm actually trying to think of one right now. Um, like I guess a I guess Empoleon. Nope, not even. Yeah, it's not, it's it's hmm. Like any grass type, really, though that's it. So, uh, I've got a fire type, I've got. That's really intriguing. Ah, oh, fuck off. So, if I can deal with someone's grass type, like I take out their Roserade. I send in Lantern, I got Volt Absorb, I got... The only thing that's going to take me out is, like, a Leaf Blade. Or, like, an Earthquake. Um, you know, I quite, I quite like that. So, we'll beef up Physical Defense then. Just as much as I can. 454 hit points, that's retarded. 
Seriously? Oh, great. I guess the nature wasn't set yet. Minus attack, plus defense. Where's the double? There it is, so... Um, 12 and 12? Sure. Um, so let's see, after two, after plus two special defense, I'll have 380. That's not even half bad. And then if I get plus one special attack, I'll get, oh, can I get different IDs, please? Never mind. Um, yeah, I, I quite like that. Well, I think I might just see how that goes. But uh, very wait and see. And um, yeah, so this guy was going to be especially bulky. Correct? I think. Suggested spread. Ugh, please. I don't want your suggested spread, asshole. I'm going to make my own spread. And uh, slap you in the face with it. How about that? Okay. And sure, I can roll with that. Um, any mixed attacker is going to completely shit on me, but at the same time, in you, you like without Blaziken kicking around, there's not really a whole lot of options. I don't think so. Like a Zelf, maybe. Um, Arcanine and Arcanine, maybe. But as for anything else, just like not really. I'm just trying to look at what things are going to give me trouble. Flygon. I've got Glag. Oh, I could use a Steel type though, because Outrage is hurt. Um, actually, I think I'll do that. I'll pick up a Steel type as my last guy. Um, Damn, I need to find one. There's like Registeel, what else? Empoleon, what else? I don't want to use either of those because I've already used them. Agron, but times four weeks to Earthquake, no thank you. Um, Escavalier, hmm. Maybe. Cling Clang, Ugh. So many bad memories of Cling Clang. It's supposed to be really good. Steelix. Huh. What do I need? Let's look at what my team needs. Um, I need something to deal with Flygon, for sure, because that's a major, major issue right now. Um, Arcanine with CV Extreme Speed. I need to give it a CV first. CB Extreme Speed. Uh, I need to fix his EVs. Why does he have special attack EVs? Because I was going to mix him right. Um, you know, for a banded set, you know, 252, 252, 4 is kind of mandatory, but, you know, we'll just ignore that. And I'm going to want to try and force speed ties as much as I can, because extreme speed just doesn't really cut it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to run banded mixed, because that's silly. Um, so I've got a physical wall. Gligar can kind of deal with uh, Flygon. Kind of. Maybe I could give it Ice Fang instead of Earthquake, and that would be cool. Or Ice Fang instead of Stealth Rock, and then use another guy to set up rocks. Because I still have one guy. Um, I might try that, actually. I'm not sure how much... Oh, it's not even... What? Are you serious, dog? It doesn't get Ice Fang? It doesn't get Ice Fang, what the hell? Wow, I'm surprised. So what, Gliscor gets it? And Gligar, I guess I guess if it's tutored on to Gliscor, but... I don't even know, is it tutored on to Gliscor? Whatever. Um, because even if it locks into Outrage, like, maybe Lantern from Full can take one 
But he doesn't have ice beam anyway, never mind. Yeah, if it locks into Earthquake, I'm kind of boned, so... I still need something else to take ground hits. And it needs to be able to take a dragon move as well. So I need, like, a steel type of levitate with stealth rocks. And there's only one of those that I can think of. And, uh, here he is right here. So, um, Bronzong is kind of good. It's kind of badass, actually. And, uh, it can kill Flygons with, like, Gyroball and stuff. So, um, might roll with that, and, um, so just right away, minus nature, zero IVs, alright, let's roll with that to start, and, um, obviously max HP, um, am I gonna want, I could even run a more offensive build because, like, it's meant to handle Flygons, really. Should I, like, run Explosion to deal with Swacoons? Because I still need to deal with Swacoons. Um, my other option, really, my only other option really is, like, Steelix. Because I can run, like, Ice Fang on it to kill Flygons. I can run Roar on it to deal with Swacoons. But... Hmm, I'm just, I, <sighs> Swacoons just going to be a problem no matter what you do. I guess Lantern can kind of handle it if, with HP Grass and uh, Charge Beam and stuff and Amnesia so I can match his boosts. But like that's a dangerous game to play because one crit ruins the entire thing and then I lose the game. So it's really just playing with fire, but uh, I don't really have a whole lot of other options. Uh, hmm. I still need to fix, finish this guy off. So let's start with that. Sleep Powder, Giga Drain. I guess I could set up spikes. Like, am I going to be forcing a lot of switches? Probably not, but. Um, I could go Leaf Storm and, like, rest and shit. Maybe. Yeah, let's start with rest, and then. Change this to Leaf Storm. Because the plan will be to like come in, sleep out or Leaf Storm, like take a hit, rest, and then switch out. Like that's the plan. And then I just need one more move. I could do T Spikes, but that would, that would screw up my sleep. I could do Spikes. Can you even do Spikes in Sleep Powder? I thought there was some kind of th Thing. Or maybe you just can't run T spikes, spikes, and sleep powder. Or maybe it's just T spikes and sleep powder. I don't know. Is it? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, I remember there's something that's illegal with Rosarade. Um, but I guess if, if Showdown allows it, it's legal. Like, maybe not. I don't know. Because I know for sure you can't have those three moves in combination. I think. <laughs> so. Uh, whatever. Um, I don't... I might want to do, like, normal gem explosion. Because this guy's going to be more offensively based. Maybe I could even give him stealth rock and give Gligar something different. I think I'll do that, actually. Um, so, Jagger Ball for sure. Stealth Rock for sure, because he's definitely going to be... Stealth Rock... He's definitely going to be taking one hit. Unless it's like... Choice Banded, Victini... Uh, V-Create, but... I guess that's what I have Lantern for, that's what I have Arcanine for, that's what I have Gligar for. So... Actually, Quagsire was a very good Victini counter. And very good Darmanitan counter. So... I'm kind of sad to see him go, but, um, you know, I just, I can't use the same guys over and over again. Um, Gerbil, Stealth Rock, 
I could do light screen. Or slash reflect. I feel like reflect would be better. I have a lot more special guys. Hypnosis, no thank you. Let's just go boom. We'll just see how that goes. Do I want normal gem? Sure. Let's give that a go. Um, I just have to watch out for ghosty ghosts. So I'm going to want a lot of attack investment. If not max, very close to it. And um, I guess defense or special? Well, I'm going to have reflect and that's just for like team support so I can reflect, boom, and then go to lantern and hopefully set up. That'll be a neat little combo I think. Um, so, yeah. I think this is just about wrapping up, actually. This is. I wasn't exactly very happy with my picks at the very start of the game, but, or at the very st at the start of uh, the night, but uh, you know, I'm starting to believe in this group of guys. I think uh, I've got a, ni a few nice surprises in there, and uh, it's not going to be the greatest team ever, but, um, you know, let's make this thing shiny. And uh, what's this guy shiny like? That's disgusting. I do like purple, but that's a really weird shade of purple. I do like purple, arcanine, shiny. I think it's, yeah, gold. No, thank you. Um, nah. What's bronze on? I think it's pretty much the same. Nope, green. Yeah, I'll just roll with Roserade. That'll be my shiny. And, um... Yeah, random genders, sure, that doesn't really come into play very often, but it's still nice to think about, right? Um, need another move for this guy. I could do, like, Aerial Ace, so that I can kill, uh, uh, what do you call them? Paracrosses? I could do Taunt, just for, like, the utility. I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, do I have a flying move? No. But I do have fire on a potentially slower guy, though. But um, then again, if they're faster than Arcanine, they're scarfed, and therefore Gligar poops on them, so not really too concerned about that. Uh, I need to fix this guy's EVs. Not really sure what I want to do with him, though. See, he's... Ugh, didn't set the nature, that's why it's not going to. Let's just go add him in. Fuck it. We'll just, uh... I'll just hope I don't explode on any ghosts or aggrons or anything. Uh, there it is. Come on, there we go. Um, I guess the rest in defense. Like what's this? This guy's not really supposed to be here, so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually. It'll take a hit. It'll set up rocks, set up reflect, explode, and um, if they have a flag on, I can keep it around and uh, deal with that that way. So um, Arcanine, I think I'm gonna want to run flash fire over intimidate just because. Well, that's not true. Um, what do Victinis like to run? They like to run V-Create, Electric, U-Turn, and Zen Headbutt, I guess. So, Intimidate isn't the worst option available. I think Victini's just going to be a problem no matter what I do, so... Um, I don't, I don't have a Scarfer, actually. I do have CV Extreme Speed on Arcanine, so that kind of makes up for it, but Arcanine isn't exactly the greatest revenge killer in the world. Um, but I also don't see anywhere that I could throw a Scarf, and I do like the synergy that I have. I've got a nice Firewater Grass Core. Um, let's look at the whole team, actually. Yeah, I've got a nice well, Firewater Grass Core, I've got a nice Sneaky Needle Queen and the sneaky bronzong and i think that's a pretty unique lantern set i don't think i've ever seen it before so 
Um, yeah, I th I'm thinking this is pretty good. We'll call this team. Um, please be good. All right. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go play a few games with it. Um, I guess leave suggestions in the comments. So the way I want this to work is I'm going to try and do this kind of thing again sometime later on. Um, no promises for a timeline right now, but, uh, um, you know, leave suggestions. Don't just leave, like, uh, a comment saying, use Flareon because I like it. I want some, I want some, like, genuine thoughts, you know? Leave me a good comment and, uh, like, name a poke and maybe, like, some moves you want to see on it and then explain kind of why. And then... Um, I'll adjust the team for next time, and, um, you know, we'll play a few games in a couple of weeks with it, so, uh, with the, the new adjustments, so, this is the rough team, um, I want you guys to help me finish it off, and, uh, um, yeah, so that was a pretty quick team build, uh, a lot quicker than I usually do, I usually take, like, a couple hours, but, uh, you know, this is also, this also isn't as finely refined, ref, finely refined, finely tuned as uh, I usually have them simply because I don't want to bore you guys for too long. So I'll go play a few games with it, and uh, I'm gonna have to stop recording and adjust screens and everything. So um, I will see you guys in a few minutes. And it turns out I was right. So. Um, Whenever I try to look for a battle, it'll tell me my team is rejected because Rosary can't learn spikes with Sleep Powder. I knew there was something with that. I knew it, so I'm going to have to fix that. Um, it's alright, I didn't really want spikes anyway. So, um, is it incompatible with Sleep Powder? I think so. So, uh, I'm going to need to pick a different move. Could do Sludge Bomb. What's her special attack like? 296. It's not terrible, but... Um, I want to keep Sleep Powder because Sleep is the best status in the world. Um, let's just do Aromatherapy. Just in case I accidentally get status. Like in case I get a Toxic on Lantern or in case I get a Paralyzed on Arcanine. Just in case. Uh, just because I can't have the move that I want. So... Um, all right, let's look for a battle, and um, hopefully the team works great. Team works this time, and um, immediately we are faced off with the Flygon. So it's gonna. Thanks for putting the timer on already, bud. And um, we are already faced. So he's probably gonna lead with Frost last. So who can I lead with? Gyro Bowling. It would be pretty cool because he'd probably taunt a Bronzong. And shit. Well, we're gonna trade rocks, I guess. Not really a whole lot I can do about that. I can set up a reflect. And actually, um, my rating in UU is not terrible. It's around 1600 on this account because I played with uh, my other team. So if you think I'm just going to be playing bad people because my rating is low, that's not the case. So you put the timer on, bud. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Trader rocks. Whatever. Didn't take that much thought. Ooh, Hypnosis. Cool. Um, doesn't really matter because I do have Aromatherapy um, on Rose Raid, which I'll go to right now. And uh, he missed again. Big deal. Natural Cure, whatever. Um, <laughs> it'd be really funny if I went for Sleep Powder and got him first. That'd be sweet. Um, shit. Okay, well, I guess that's fair. He missed two Hypnosises. I missed one thingy. How bulky is Frostless? I don't even know. I don't think it's very bulky. So we'll just check that real quick. Slunged out of Frost last. 70. Uh, let's go for it. Screw it. Leaf Storm hit. Killed it. Sweet. Um, just say, oh, right, because it's like Curse Body and stuff, I guess. Um, in comes a Haunch Crow. I do have Reflect Up, so that's kind of cool. But he's probably going to sub. And... Um, so he's got a layer of spikes on me, big deal, right? Um, can't exactly touch it with Gligar. 
Uh, Ark and I can't exactly come in a whole bunch anymore. Let's go to Bronzong. That's what it's there for, right? It's, it's meant to take a hit. And um, there we go. I don't have lefties. And is he lefties? So he's probably got sub um, to some degree. So let's go Gyro Ball. Even though he's probably just going to go back to his own. Wait, I need to keep this guy like healthy for Flygon. Do I not? And um, he left. Okay. So I guess he decided he was going to lose because I'm just the best player in the world. And um, I'll just wait this one out. And uh, I don't want to start another game just in case he comes back. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes whenever he either comes back or I've decided to start a new game. Bit of an anticlimactic first game, but... Um, I guess I'll take it. I'm not really sure why he left. He was fairly highly rated. So, uh, you know, that's that. Wrapped it up. And, um, you know, we'll just play another game. It doesn't take 10 minutes to find a game now that we're playing a tier that people actually play. So, that's pretty cool. Um, he's probably going to lead with Bronzong. I could lead with Gligar and Taunt it. In fact, I think I will. Um, see, having Arcanine as my, like, kind of revenge killer kind of thing isn't exactly the greatest because you know stealth rock weakness and this guy's taking a while so putting on the timer um i'm such a douche um Mew can potentially outspeed me and kill me with ice beam and that's not cool so i'm just gonna go to bronzong yep there it is so pretty glad i didn't stick around for that eh stealth rocks let's go would he be like a Specs? Oh no, they'd probably only run Ice Beam if it's like a leady kind of set that's meant to kill lead Gligars, because that's what they do. In comes the Zapdos. I do want to blow up on this, but um, I can't. Um, I'm noticing a problem already with my Lantern. Um, I only have 8 Hydro Pumps, so against the Zapdos, that's going to be suck. So I think we're going to switch that out for Surf like immediately like right after this so um i can't exactly deal with this guy shit a crit really dude damn it um so there goes my needle queen basically for nothing and um i don't really have a way to deal with it so uh zapdos you win this round oh live damn it oh crit you right back take that Okay, um, you know, I'll take, I'll take that exchange. That's not a bad, um, that's not a bad exchange for me. Um, in comes a Mian Show, and they do not run HP Ice in UU. I fought a lot of them up with my other team, and, um, never saw one with HP Ice, so Gligar is just totally safe. Um, I feel like this time he's not gonna Ice Beam, but at the same time, he's probably gonna set up rocks, and therefore I wanna go to Nino to Nido Queen. Ooh, nasty plot. That's pretty interesting. Um, it does not levitate, so Earth Power will be cool. Slower, that's kind of ex to be expected. Uh, I could go to Arcanine. Flare Blitz would be pretty sweet. I could go to Bronzong because he's just got like Ice Beam and stuff, and I could blow up right on him. Um, that'd be pretty sweet. So I do have options, it's just a matter of which option is the right option. I've already got up rocks. Uh, reflect isn't going to be too useful. I do want to like save my explosion for uh, like Swakoon. So I'm going to try and reflect right now. Shit, that did a lot more than I thought. Okay, so I guess it is plus two. I shouldn't have really thought of that. That's, that was kind of silly. Um... um um, okay, let's go to this guy, because I've seen his T-Bolt and stuff, so it's going to be first crit wins, basically. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, this is not going well. I should have just... <sighs> should have gone to Arcanine, eh? Right? Well, there's not really a lot I can do with that. Um, okay. No more fucking around. Right? Flare Blitz. Wow, that did a lot. Okay. Um, so what's my plan now? I should have just jarred all that goddamn. I should have just blown up on it, Jesus. 
Uh, I think I just threw this one away. Yep. I did. Well, that's not too bad. That's alright. You know, I... Th mm. You know, I just misplayed it. I should have... I should have played this Mew differently. I should have just done this. But, uh, I didn't. So, next time, um, I, now I know better. So, I'm going to go fix the move that I wanted to fix on Lantern. Because if it's going to have to set up and stuff... Hydro Pump, the extra power is nice, but I need the PP. I need the PP. Yeah, someone's going to make a gay joke about that, I promise. So, there's that. I think that's finalized. Alright. So, we're one and one. Not looking too great. Not too shabby, though. Um, I know the first game wasn't exactly <laughs> uh, the most interesting game, but at the same time, I feel like I had the advantage um, just based on matchup. So, uh, there's that. Okay, this guy has a lot of really good stuff, so I'm just going to try and smash it in the face as much as I can to start. Um, can I one-shot this thing with close combat? I'm CB, I think so. Yep, alright. 6-5 right off the bat, I'll take it. And i um, not exactly sure why he stayed in, but now he's probably going to go right to Zatu. Which, next time I can wild charge, so that'll be cool. Um... Bronzong is a pretty good switch in. I think they just run Nightshade, so even Needle Queen might be a good switch in. I don't think they run Psychic Stab. Um, even Lantern might be. Well, no. If he's gonna have yes, if he's gonna have Nightshade, that's not a good switch in. Let's just go to Needle Queen. Screw it. If he wants to be Specs, oh sweet, dodge a T Wave. Um, T Bolt, Ice Beam, Earth Power. He's probably gonna stay in and like Light Screen or something. So. I'll go for he has psychic, wow. Okay. Um I don't think that would have killed without a crit, but um at the same time I'm not too worried about it. That kinda sucks actually. Because I can't wild charge if he's got a ground type. And um yeah, so need a queen. Not exactly looking too hot. I might want to switch that setup later. I can't set up rocks. Zatu is slow as dicks. I'm just going to reflect and go boom. Yeah. There's the e turn. He's probably going to go to Arcanine. And it's probably going to be physical. And then I'm probably going to blow up on it. So uh, we'll just see how that goes. He might even go to Machamp. Who knows? There he goes. <laughs> Machamp. Okay. Um, I do want to set up rocks before I die. Because I don't think he can kill me with... He could have fire blasted, I guess, but that's really it. Come on, fight through confusion, sweet. Um, I would go to Gligar, but he's probably got Ice Punch. I've got a few more chances at it blowing up before it actually has to happen. Um, fuck. Okay, that's not good. That's really not good. But if, as long as he's just bulking up, I can still go to other stuff, right? There we go. Fought through it. Sweet. So the worst I'm going to have to take is a plus one bullet punch. Arcanine still is Intimidate, so I can go to that. And do I want a wild charge? Do I want a close combat? Close combat will definitely kill this thing. Zatu is going to poop on it, but it has to take a rocks too. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be flash fire on Arcanine. But I think Flare Blitz is the best option. Alright. Keep him honest. Make, him, make sure he doesn't go to somewhere that can be pooped on. And uh, my champ is a big problem, so I'm glad to see that thing go. He has his own Arcanine. Um, which is, wow, Roserade? Really, dude? I could be Scarfed and you would just... <sighs> Whatever, I'll just kill it. Sure. I'm not really sure what he was expecting me to think. Maybe he thought I'd think he'd be faster. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Um, or maybe he thought he could live? I don't know, and now he's figured out that I'm banded, but either way, like I'm fast, I'm potentially faster than Crocodile, but Gligar still. Wow, that's so lucky. Are you serious? <sighs> is that two crits he's gotten for one shots, or is that the other guy? 
No, that's two. He's gotten two crits for one hit KOs. And uh, that sucks. So, he. God damn it. I had the game won, and now I don't. So I'm going to have to U turn. <laughs> what? 14.4% at plus one? That's retarded. But I'm pretty sure he's locked into pursuit, so. Um, I should be able to kill with a surf. Or hit a Zaw too hard with a surf. Sure. I'll take it. And now I can charge beam and stuff. He's gonna roost, but I don't really oh he's got and yeah, he's got stuff. Right? Yeah, he's got he's got stuff. So I should amnesia once. Now he's probably gonna switch out. Because he realizes I'm not fucking around. And um uh, I'm volt absorb, dude. What'd you expect me to be? Water absorb, I guess, but uh you know, I'll take it. I will take it. And um, yeah, he's not going to be really doing a whole lot, so I could start charge beaming, but if he goes to Crocodile and like locks into Earthquake and stuff, I just want to show him charge beam. Because then maybe he'll like switch and stuff. But uh, I don't want him to switch into Crocodile on one of those, so he's probably going to roost this turn. And this is where Hydro Bump would have come in handy, but you know, with pressure running around, I can't exactly have that happening. There's U-turn, plus one Surf incoming, and that should kill the Crocodile. Easily. Easily. There we go. I guess Hydro Pump would have missed there, eh? So, I guess this is an example of my team just working perfectly, and uh, it's a pretty good win. So, um, yeah, that went, that went well. Let's see, uh, if I hadn't just misplayed that Mew, I could be 3-0 and right now, but, uh, you know, I'll play probably two more. I'll uh, I'll play a few more. I'll play for a little while. I don't post very often, so when I do, um, it's going to have to be pretty good, uh, pretty long. So this guy's got mono fire, which means um, I'm pretty much boned. <laughs> so um, hmm. this could be pretty tricky, but if I can get rocks up, I might stand a chance. Well, he's just going to hit stuff until they die, really. Right, so um, Bronzong is probably my best lead, just because ugh, this thing's gonna one-shot me. Sort of uh, rocks are, are omni important. He's gonna be specs. He's gonna one-shot me, and I'm going to be sad face. But if he does, then I can go to lantern. I can set up an amnesia discharge. Okay. Um, sure. Thanks. Now I'll set up my Reflect, and then I'll blow up. Um, unless I expect him to go to Chandelure, that is. Volt Switch, okay. I'm um, not really sure why he didn't go for Fire. Maybe he doesn't have it. But uh, Oh, he's going to Rapid Spin. Oh, god damn it. So I could blow up, but Torkoal also has, like, base 150 defense. Slash data Torkoal. Or coke. Nope, that's not how you spell it. Um, base 140, so it's got Skarm level defense. But I do have max attack on this guy. And who else am I going to blow up on, really? Alright, that works. I'll take it. Blow up. It doesn't die, and that's actually not the worst thing in the world. I can go to Lantern. I can set up an Amnesia. Because I don't want a custom berry. Okay. Um, my rocks are gone and that's kind of poopy, but I also have plus one. So that's kind of cool. Charge beam, get the boost. Sweet. And um, I think I'm going to get a. I think that just scored me a free kill on something else because I'm plus one. I've got reflect, um, massive HP, massive defense. And, um, you know, Surf's he doesn't exactly have a lot of defensive guys. So, like, maybe Rotom. Be just because it had Discharge and Volt Switch and it wasn't trying to one-hit KO my Bronzong, but um, even that was probably physically defensive because, like, uh, or especially, well, no, that's not true. But, uh, yeah. 
So, I guess I'll kill Darmanitan. I was kind of hoping he'd waste his Victini, but... Beggars can't be choosers. I just gotta take whatever he gives me, and, uh... Man, Mono Fire and UU actually is not the worst thing in the world. Just because it kills on every it kills everything. So is that my thing gone? Yes, that's my reflect gone, so that's not cool. Hopefully he tries to like volt switch, and that'll be that'll be really sweet. Come on, dude, do you want to volt switch? I know you do. Actually what's Victini gonna hit me with? Oh that was big. That was big. Crit was not big, but that will o -Wisp miss. That's massive. Because now I'm g still gaining HP every turn rather than losing it, so... Um, we're gonna see how close he comes to killing me, and then... Um, then we'll decide whether it was big or not. I should be able to one-shot Darmanitan. I should be able to. Arcanine might be able to live one. I should be able to one-shot Chandler, and Victini maybe can live one, so... As much as... Oh, that crit really hurts. Okay. Now I don't feel even a little bit bad. But, uh... That sucks. That really sucks. Um... I have nothing to really deal with Shandle. I hope it's Scarfed. I really hope it's Scarfed. Ah, uh, if he didn't get a crit Zen head, but it would have done... 40%. Come on, Wild Charge. Go for Wild Charge. I dare you. I dare you. Come on. Shit. Okay. Uh, probably shouldn't have stayed in, but then again, that guy was only a little bit better than Fodder. He's life orbed, so he's probably mixy. Let's go to Neo Queen and just Earth Power and stuff. I don't think he's gonna like. He's he's probably gonna be able to flare blitz me, but I think I should be able to live one. I mean, crits galore tonight. I've only played like 50 turns, and there's already been a ton of crits. So, um, yeah, I just had to deal with Arcanine, and um, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this one out. I'm not really liking the looks of things here. So, he's Intimidate. Well, Shane, well, Nita Queen's useless anyway, so. And he's special, so it's a damn good thing I didn't go anywhere. Um, so... He poops on everything I've got. Yeah, I think... <laughs> so what, V-Create? Okay, whatever, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this one out. Sorry, boys. Um, I guess I could have gone... No, because he's special, so he's probably got, like... The ability to one-hit KO me. Uh, okay. So the game is probably over, but I'm still gonna try my best. So if he's gonna go for Psychic, he's faster than me. Gligar can probably kill it with an Earthquake, and Roserade is 100% useless. So I'll go to that, take a crit, sure, whatever. Another crit, by the way. Um, I'm gonna try and live one, and then if his Victini turns out, or if his Chandelier turns out to not be Scarfed, maybe Wild Charge crit? Maybe? I don't know, but I think I can live one Psychic with Gligar. I did have a few special defense in the EVs in there, didn't I, I think? Let me just check real quick, because I, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, 12. So, um, blue flare. Ooh, big miss, big miss. Uh, I can't extreme speed, though. So, crit earthquake. Ooh, I might not even need a crit. Wow, okay. Right when I thought this, okay. If he crits me, I'm going to be super annoyed. Sweet, I actually walked away with it. Didn't expect that. But, uh, you know, that's why you never give up. You just keep trying. And, uh, GG, sir. GG. And, uh, you know. Good game. I like that kind of game where, uh, I just think it's all completely gone. I take one last chance, and, um, it works out. So, I'll just, uh, move on. Keep on moving on up. And, um, 
man, if I just hadn't misplayed that Mew, I'd be feeling pretty good about my skills right now. And uh, for whatever reason, it's taken a while, so I'll just uh, not jump cut because here it is. So, a guy named Type 2 Diabetes. Um, I don't know if that's offensive or not. I'm not offended by it, certainly, but, you know, someone who knows someone else with diabetes might. So, Frostlass, yes, that's kind of what I expected. Gyroball him down to a sash, or I'll just Gyroball this Zatu. No big deal, whatever you want, dude. Set up my Reflect. I'm not really worried about what the Zatu wants to do, if it wants to T-Wave. Rain Dance. Ooh, that's kind of, that's kind of scary. I want to explode, because he's probably not going to go back to Frostlass, but he also might go to his own Bronzong, and it's way too early. Um, I need to save that kind of for a sneaky later play. Um, so I think my best... Oh, damn, he did switch right to Kingdra. God damn it. Whatever. Maybe he'll think I'm Water Absorb? Maybe? If you could see my face right now, you'd be... You'd be seeing that I'm not really too confident. <sighs> Bronzong is my best guy to deal with this thing. I'll just charge beam. Draco Meteor. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Um, I guess he's special. Um, he didn't take, he might be specs, that may, that's maybe why he did so much. So, if he's specs, Bronzong can come right back in. And he missed, of course, whatever. I guess that kind of keeps my normal gem kind of sneaky, but yeah, I wasn't about to fall for that, dude. Um... I go back to Lantern. See, I need like I need like Wish or something for him. He just doesn't have the recovery that you need. He's probably gonna roost. And rain. Ugh. If I kill him, that's his rain source gone. No, damn it! God damn it! That was good play. Good play. All right. Okay. I was trying to get rid of his rain source, and uh, clearly it did not work out that way. So, where do I go now? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go to Arcanine. Um, Flare Blitz, I guess? Like, the rain is still up, but like, big deal, right? It's a frost loss. There's a sash, kind of expected. Debond incoming. Lantern is dead. Gligar can come in, but he's got ice. <sighs> Damn. It was a high risk, high reward play. And uh, I'm never gonna you know, I'm never going to really regret a play like that, but, uh, damn, that just did not work out for me. So, now I have to deal with it. I'm still debonded because lane mechanic is lame, and I don't have anything faster than Frostlass, so something might just have to die. I'll just go to Lantern, Fodder. He's probably expecting rocks again, like a, like a bloody fool. Okay, Arcanine, and, um... I think Wild Charge hits, hits everything at least neutrally, so let's go for that. Yeah, there comes Kingdra. Crit. LOL. Alright, so there's his Kingdra gone. That's his main problem for me. So, who else does he have that's special? Like a dead Frost Lass. Big deal. Okay, dude. Who does he go to? He's got Bronzong. He's got Porygon 2. Bronzong. Alright. So I need to save Arcanine to land a Flare Blitz on that. And that's like my... Well, I've got Fire Blast too. I completely forgot. Don't Earthquake, I swear to Christ. Alright, that's fine. Not really though, because Arcanine's only going to get one more switch in. So I'll just go for Fire Blast right now. Um... Porygon 2, does that mean he's offensive if he's got fucking that thing? 
Either way, Ice Beam is incoming, so I don't have anything to take it. So, Need Queen just had to go down. Do I want to go to Arcanine? No. I can't afford it. Roserade. I can put him to sleep. That'll be cool, right? I can put something to s Oh, shit. Ah, I missed. Sweet. Um, didn't even think about that. That was stupid. I guess I'll just leave Storm because I have nothing else to do. Does he even have a roost? Jesus. Whatever. Um, hey, man, that was my miss. Alright. Kind of screwed me in the ass. But, uh... Again, nothing to really take this, but I can sleep him, then I can rest, and then I can switch, and then I can switch back in, but that might be too many turns. Because <sighs> he can recover, theoretically. You're going to win anyway. I just need a long sleep. That's what I need. Ah, oh, there's a... I need a long sleep. Immediately wakes up. Fuck. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just stand because I have nothing else to go to. I need him to stay asleep for like at least long enough for me to rest up and stuff. Um, Heracross. <sighs> Whatever. I have to go to Galaga, there's nothing else I can do. So... Megahorn, big deal. So now he's gonna switch. And this is... the perfect opportunity to U-turn. Because that's what I do, even though I have nowhere to go. I have to do it, so... <sighs> Bronzong... I only have one option. <laughs> I have to land a Flare Blitz on it. Even though he's not going to let me do that. Um, I gotta do something, though. Wow, he let me do it! Um, Okie doke. Like, I still don't have a play. And I'm still going to lose, but he shouldn't have let me do that. I have a chance, depending on how things go. I think I have a chance. Um, do I though? For all slash shits on me. Yeah, I lose. Okay, <laughs> I have a chance. Yeah, Frost Last is too good. Good game. Alright. Um, yeah, I just lost. Big deal, okay. I'm not gonna end on a loss. I'm gonna play one more game. See, if I hadn't exploded... See, it... I'm losing these games, but, uh... I'm losing them because of misplays that I make. So... I don't think it's the team's fault. I think it's just... I'm a little bit too hasty right now, it's like 2 in the morning, so um, maybe I should just play a different time, but you know, right now is when I'm playing. Who's he going to lead? Probably Gligar. Probably. So, start that timer up, and um, let's see how this goes. Gligar, I was right, so, you know, I don't know why I led with Lantern, if I thought he was going to lead with Gligar. Because now I'm going to have to eat an Earthquake and a Surf is not going to kill him. Probably pretty silly. But, uh, you know, sweet. He switched out, and who can I kill Shedinja with? Arcanine's probably my best bet, because if he's going to do anything, he's going to Will-O-Wisp. And he Shadow Claw, big deal. He might be banded. Whatever, I got a free Flare Blitz on... 
wild charging stuff because his arc nine is clearly uh, flash fire so um, I'm gonna have to go to Gligar. Arcanine kind of poops on me. Sweet, I'll take that. And um, now I can U-turn. He might be Life Orb. I'll just U-turn. Sweet, Blastoise. I will take it. And I can go to Roserade because Roserade can eat an Ice Beam and fire back a Leaf Storm. Uh, if he goes into Shedinja, I will put it to sleep. And, um, sweet. Arcanine comes in. Dealt with that pretty sweet. So unless he does his own HP Ice thing, Gligar's gonna be pretty cool. Close combat. Sweet. Alright, so his, he's got a dead Arcanine. And, um, I'm just building up momentum. U-turn on Gligar is really, really good. Just because it forces so many choice guys out. And, um... Yeah, so here comes, I guess, Roserade again. We'll just do the same thing. Leaf Storm's gonna hurt everything he's got that's not called Heracross or Shedinja, so. Um, I'm just gonna sleep this time. There it is, sweet, got it. And um, now it's kinda screwed because I can go to Arcanine, I can Flare Blitz. And I'm just going to go for Flare Blitz, even if he wants to go to Blastoise or his own Arcanine. I don't really care. So, sweet. So now he's going to switch if he's still asleep. Alright. So now he's probably going to switch. I think. So I'll go to Needle Queen. Yep, there he goes. Sweet. Call in the shots. And uh, he left, so... Um... I guess my prediction skills were too tight for uh for this this fella, so I'll try and get one more game. Did he come back? No. Why was it yellow? I guess it's just orange and it's gonna gonna confuse me. I don't wanna leave I wanna leave on a good game. This looks like this looks like it'll be a good game. Alright. Um Let's see. Who's he going to lead? Probably Cabalion. Edo Queen. He'll probably just... Nope, Darmanitan. Uh, do not want to stand for that. So, go to Gligar. Means Earthquake. He's probably Scarfed. So I'll U-turn. In comes Swakoon. And how am I going to deal with Swakoon? Leaf Storm. Because he doesn't have any special defense boosts. Uh, putting him to sleep would be stupid. Sweet, look at that damage. That's awesome. Ice Beam. Oh, fucking crit, man. Whatever, I can rest it off, right? I'm faster, so... Um, I'll just kill Swakoon. Sweet. I can always rest and save this guy, so... That crit isn't actually too big of a deal. Darmanitan again. Gligar again. I mean... What can it really do to Gligar? Nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Um, I guess he was just expecting me to, excuse me, bite the dust, but, um, no, I can rest, I can save it. Uh, come on. Here comes Mew. Sweet, crit of my own, thank you. And, um, I feel like Arcanine should be faster than a Mew. Um, especially one with lefties, yeah, so... Flare Blitz should hurt just about everything. Might want to go Wild Charge just because Slowbro. Oh, damn it. That was a bad move. That was a bad move. <sighs> damn it. That was stupid. Should have just gone for the kill. That's alright. I'll deal with it. Will O Wisp. Oh, that actually sucks. Damn. Whatever. I'll deal with it. I'll cope. I'll put up with it. I can still blow up and it'll do like... Oh, shit. Wait, so what's, his, what's his attack then? Calm Mind, Will-O-Wisp. Roost. Psychic? It's like, what the fuck is he planning to do? Just set up plus six and go? I guess. But I should be able to blow up 
Maybe take it down to around half again. Yeah, okay. Now a Flare Blitz will take it out. Or even a Wild Charge. How much did Wild Charge do? 40%. I'll go for it again. Because Zapdos doesn't get that ability yet. Alright, I win this one. Sweet. So after this game, I feel like I should be floating around 1700, which is pretty good. And he just lets a plus two, plus two Mew die. And, um... I'll just go to Glagger. He if he U-turns, whatever, big deal. What? Holy shit. Okay. That must be banded. If that's not banded, I I don't know. Wow. Um Okay. I guess my best bet is to go to Arcanine, Intimidate, and stuff. I'm impressed. I understand that was a critical hit. I understand that I've been cr getting critted all night. And I understand that the Romanitan has 145 base attack. But, that's retarded. So, um, I guess I could have Flare Blitz that time. That's alright though, he'll probably just set up rocks. And, uh... Need a queen can then poop on it. So uh, I'm just really worried about that slow bro, and that's why I keep trying to wild charge. So um, that's the reason I'm doing that. But uh, man, I can't believe that. Okay, focus blast, really? Slash. Slash down a chameleon. I guess it's, okay. It's got the same special attack as attack. And I guess he doesn't want to lower his defense with close combat, so he'd rather take the, the occasional miss. I guess that makes sense. Here comes Slowbro. I'm not really too worried. I'm offensive. Welcome to the game. And uh, I'll T-bolt just in case Zapdos wants to come in. Alright. Dealt with. In comes Darmanitan again. I'm assuming it's banded. It must be banded. And if it's banded... Ooh. I'm not sure why he didn't go into it, but I guess he only gets one more shot with it, so he wants to save it. I'll Ice Beam Zapdos, because he can't one-shot me, not even close. And, um... If he wants to roost, I will predict it eventually. Just not right now, so... Uh, works out, he's dead, and all we've got left is these two things, which... I can kill between extreme speed and Flare Blitz, so... His Dormantan is officially dead if it comes in again, so I, I'm perfectly happy with letting something die. It's just not going to be need a, need a Queen right now, just in case I need it to land an Earth Power on Cabalion, so... Another critical hit, by the way. The crits must be broken on this bloody sim, I swear to Christ. But, uh, I'm free to extreme speed. He can't really do anything about it. If he switches, he's dead. If he stays in, he's also dead, so... Sweet, I'll take it, and um, I'm going to be able to kill this thing between Flare Blitz and everything else that I have to throw at him. So, this is a good game, and I um, might try to get one more. It'll depend on where my rating is. I want to finish the night at around 1700, just because of reasons. So, let's go for Surf, try and get as much damage in there as Flash Cannon do, really? Wow, okay. Pretty funky Cabalion set. But, uh, you know, I'm also running a funky Lantern. And, um... It's just not gonna work for him, I don't think. If this does work out for him, then good for him. Flare Blitz should be able to kill him. And I should be faster if he has any bulk. So... I'll pre-type my GG, but I don't wanna... Don't wanna send it yet. Come on, dude, pick your move, end the game. I have to sit here and stare at you until you click your thing. Go for your focus, miss. Maybe you'll hit, maybe you won't. Maybe I'll win anyway. Because I don't think a flash cannon will take Needle Queen out from... Well, maybe. <sighs> Alright. Try and get one more. I win that game. And uh, here we go. 
He's a lot, yeah. So this guy, let's see. Sweet. Wow, fuck off. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I swear to God, if that wins him the game. God damn it. I'll leave with Rosa Rage just because I haven't led with it yet. Oh, damn it. Of course, I'm thinking with massive special defense and potentially Sleep Talk comes in. So. I may as well put him to sleep anyway. Thank Christ. I was gonna cry if this game. if I lost this game. Yeah. <laughs> So this guy called me a lucky bastard. I hope he was joking. If he wasn't joking, then he's an asshole. Heracross, put to sleep. Sweet. Um, potential gut sleep talk, but like Gligar, so. I'm not sure if he predicted that, but I still have to be afraid of Ice Beam. So I'm gonna go to Bronzong. And uh, we're gonna see how that goes. There's Stalter Rocks, kind of expected, but better safe than sorry. There's Fire Blast. Critical fucking hit. Probably didn't need it, but still, like, what the fuck is with my luck tonight? Yeah, at least it, oh, whatever. <sighs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'll just go to my own Needle Queen and force the issue. I hope I'm faster. In comes something, yeah. Okay. That makes up for it. That kind of makes up for it, but um, actually that more than makes up for it. I think his Snorlax is more valuable to him than my Bronzong was to me. And my Bronzong probably would have just eventually blown up on something eventually, so... Um, I guess that balances out. I'm not annoyed anymore. Uh, da, 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 da. This dude's cool. I'll just. Uh, I'll let him think. He's here. He knows what he's doing. Uh, da, 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 da. I bought a 3DS. About a week. Exactly a week ago today. Uh, I got Ocarina, MK7. So. If you want to play MK7 with me sometime, just, you know, throw me a friend code. And then I'll, uh. Hop online, we can play some games, stuff like that. So, I also bought, did I say Ocarina, MK7, Super Mario 3D Land. I'm only at the Forest Temple in Ocarina, I haven't really been playing it too much. Probably gonna surf... Frozen Raid. It's just safe, unless he goes Psychic. If he goes Psychic, that's... Sure. Um... So he has Gabalion, he has Zapdos. I don't have rocks because who's asleep? Heracross is asleep. Where is he gonna go? It's gonna be between Cabalion and Zapdos. So where do I wanna go if he goes to Zapdos? I'll just leave Storm, whatever. There's Cabalion, so I was wrong anyway, and I missed regardless, so um not really a huge deal. What's Cabalion gonna do? He's already got rocks. Sub. I hope he's physical. HP HP something. Water? Wouldn't HP ice do that little? Uh do I now my Gligar's ruined, it can't exact well Haircross is also asleep. So it might be an idea to go to Lantern if he's gonna be special. Yeah, I was thinking about staying in an Earthquaking, but um, didn't exactly want that to happen. And he's mixed. And he gets a crit. Fuck. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to lose this one. Shit. So I guess he's physical just with HP Ice, literally four Glaggers. God damn it. Uh, that's really frustrating, because I could have lived another one and broken his sub. I 
guess I have to go to Nita Queen. Nita Queen can take close combats. She can take HP Ices, kind of. Yeah, thirty percent, big deal. Um, Ice Beam. Sure, let's go Ice Beam. Just because. If Zapdos comes in, please let me freeze it. Please, please, please. Ugh, fuck. Please break the sub, sweet. I'll take that. Go away, Capel. Oh, damn. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Shit. I really thought he'd go to Zapdos. I guess I could have T-bolted. Wait, I can't even freeze. What the hell am I thinking? <sighs> Just out of my mind tonight. I can't even freeze because of that thing, right? Do I want a wild? No, because he's just gonna... No matter what I do. Shit! I thought he'd stay in. And then I thought Flare Blitz would be sweet and burn, so that's cool. And he doesn't have... Lefties. Is he Specs? Probably. Probably. So I'm gonna have to go to Gligar. Um, is this a good idea? I'm gonna have to roost. I'm gonna be faster than you. You should go away. He's gonna have regenerator. And um, thing did fifty percent ish, I think. So roosting is just gonna lose me HP. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. In comes Nido Queen. Sure, I'll earthquake you. Or you'll be faster, and I'm screwed, and I lose the game now. Whatever. Way too many crits in that game. I could go for, like, extreme speed crit. Like, like five of them. Yeah, that's my only chance. Okay. Crit. <laughs> Let's just end the game. Pile it on. Alright, I'll go one more. This is the last one, no matter what happens. I'm sorry if I'm boring, boring you. Hey, Malky, it's Malk and stuff. Um, let's leave with Arcanine in case he wants to leave with Napoleon. Fire is going to completely roll him over, so let's just throw as much of that out as I can at the beginning of the game. The only thing I'm really worried about killing is Cresselia, because I don't really have a great status to put on. I don't have Toxic or anything, so uh, I'm going to have to kill it. And it's really hard to kill, and here it is. We're going to force the issue right away. I'm just going to Flare Blitz, I think. Or I could go to Bronzong and blow up, but I do have Aromatherapy. Critical hit. <laughs> Jesus, man. It's like 50% crit night or something. Holy shit. Um, where's he going to go? Like, I'm certainly not complaining right now because it's in my favor, but um, if he gets rocks up, Arcanine's dead anyway, so I may as well just stay in for one more. And um, I'm going to call that a job well done for Arcanine. That took out two, his two biggest walls and uh, prevented rocks from getting up, so good job, Arcanine. Um, he's potentially going to go into Cresselia, so I'm going to go into something that can put pressure on it. Alright, Mian So, let's go to Gligar. Even if he U turns, Gligar can theoretically outspeak Cresselia and taunt it. So, that's the plan. Yeah, U turn. Okay. Come on. Do not go to Cresselia. If he moonlights, I'm going to just cry. And then I'm going to blow up on it. But, at first, I'll cry. Napoleon, okay. I'm happy with that. I'll go to Bronzong. Threaten him out with earthquakes that I don't have. Set up a reflect. Critical hit, 50% rate, I guess. I'll set up my own rocks. Okay, that's fine. My rock weak dude is dead, so that's alright. Um, he has that haunch crow and he's still got me in show, so. Um, I do want to get reflect. I don't want to get burned. That's a major concern. 
But um, if he's going for Scalds, I can't. I have to go to Roserade. I can't go to Gligar. I can't go to that other thing. Oh, sweet. Immediately his Cresselia comes in. So as long as I hit my Leaf Storm, that's a dead Cress. And um, if he wants to switch, sweet. I'll take it. I will take it. A dead Cresselia. A dead Claydol. This dude's got a really bug weak team, like Heracross would just completely decimate him. Maybe Rotom Heat if it's like physically defensive, but um like that's it. Haunch Crow. It's gonna be faster and Brave Bird. So uh, my options are either Bronzong or Gligar, and in my experience Gligar can't really deal with Haunch Crow, so um, I'm just gonna Gyro Ball sub away because I can. I don't really get why people run sub and roost on a dude who's supposed to be offensive, but you know I'm not a I'm not a smoganite, so uh, they could probably tell you. Here we go. All right. Um, again, I'm kind of forced into Roserade, but uh, this team is really kind of water weak. But you know whatever. He's got Roar, so Lantern's not going to be able to deal with it. Um, I have nothing else to really blow up on, so may as well just go boom. Just deal with this Empoleon. I kind of sh I should have saved Arcanine to try and close combat it, but uh, it's a bit too late for shouldas. And now I can put something to sleep. Correct. So everything's awake. Yep. Sleep powder. Don't miss. And um, everything will be happy. I'll be happy. You'll be happy. Because I'm going to end this video after this battle if I win. So. Um, Alright, sweet. It hit. Uh, Leaf Storm, maybe? Twice? Maybe? Maybe? Uh, if Hotch Girl wants to come in, it'll take rocks. Okay, um, the second one should do about... No! Damn it! So the next one should do about half of that, which is not enough. So I'm getting critted all night, I'm getting one turn woken on. This is not a good night, this is not a lucky night. But, uh, I'm definitely going to say that the games I lost were because I screwed up, not because of hacks, so... Um, there is the mor that moral to the story. Alright, Nido Queen, let's go. Um, what are Nido Queen's EVs? If I forgot her EVs, or if I made them bad, I'm gonna be super annoyed. Oh, I did them good, cool. I forgot these things. Don't wake up. Okay. Um, that's kinda cool, I guess. I can Ice Beam it, I can T-Bolt it. T-Bolt's the better option because it'll hit everything at least neutrally. Wow, that did a lot. But uh, at least he's dead, right? That's the important thing. But now I can't deal with Empoleon, but it looks like I do not have to, so... That's it. Uh, uh, 1696, very close to 1700. Uh, which is kind of my goal for the night. 25 and 12 overall. And I think I was 19-9 with my crappy other UU team, because I didn't do as well with it on this account as I did with my other account. I think I went like 75 and 25 on my other account, so um you know I'm happy with you know 1700. And uh you know I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to make this enjoyable as much as I could. I thought about like post narrating it, but um I think I did a good job. So um make sure you leave suggestions and make sure you leave why you're making those suggestions. Um, just because um, I want to hear what your guys' thought processes are. You've seen mine. And um, I made this team. It's not the greatest team. It's not the worst team. It's certainly uh, serviceable. So, um, you know, if I just played my cards right, I could have had two extra wins tonight. But uh, I got beaten by some good players and made some good plays. So. Uh, I will see you guys in the next time, and I will incorporate some of your suggestions, so make sure you leave comments, and uh, see you next time.